Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you for joining us here at the live demo stage. A little bit excited about this demonstration we've got for you now. Um, this is going to be quite spectacular um, outdoors, as well as being able to find out information about it indoors. OK, so I'm joined by Tom. You're from Firebug, aren't you? Um, so Tom, what we're looking at here is um, fire extinguishing, aren't we? But in a little bit of a different way to the conventional uh, materials used to do that. So can you talk us through your two products here that you've got and how they work and what they use? Yeah, fantastic. Thank you uh, to, to, to Speedy for putting us on. Um, Firebug, we, we are a traditional fire extinguisher company and, and, and have been manufacturing fire extinguishers for a long time and been around the block and, and, and seen all the powders, the foams and, and the CO2s. And we, we came across uh, some, some, some very good technology that allows us to create the first fire extinguisher in the world that has suitable for any type of fire. So from an A class, B class, F class, E class, any, any, any fire, anywhere, anyone. Um, and, and, and yeah, we've, we've created a, a three litre and a six litre version, fully BSI approved and fully tried and tested. So you're saying instead of having the different fire extinguishers that you would normally have for different types of fire, you actually only need one? Correct, correct. So, so what, we, what we're looking at is a sort of a, a marketing campaign where we can look at replacing your traditional fire points with multiple different types of fire extinguishers uh -huh. with, with literally one extinguisher for every type of fire. Um, and again, the, you know, the advantage is it's, it's going to save the, the end user or the end person that's responsible for challenging that fire uh -huh. is now able to comfortably pick up one fire extinguisher without having to worry. There's no I hesitation in that no, kind of no. situation yeah. when a all of a sudden you're reaction. not able to think quite straight. They don't yeah. have to worry about which one they're picking up. They can just pick the one up knowing it will put it out. 100%. And um, this fire extinguisher, so what kind of places is this fire extinguisher okay for? Everywhere. It, it, it literally, any, any traditional, any place where fire risk might be and you require a standard or traditional fire safety. point, you can now look at replacing it with one. Wow, that's, that's quite impressive. And what do you actually use in here then that makes it safe for all fires? So we, um, we've created uh, two, two bits of uh, patented technology. We've got a, a specialized rotor uh -huh. and, and nozzle um, that allows us to a traditional mist is, is trying to cram a lot of water through a very small hole very uh -huh. quickly. And that's, that's how mist was historically formed. But now what we've got is we've got the ability to mix air and water in a, in a scientific method. Okay. So when it collides, we've got a true low pressure optimum droplet size mist. Okay, so that's this fire extinguisher. And then you have this one here, which is called the backpack. Correct. Self-explanatory. Yeah. So, so talk me through this, obviously, what it does and what kind of person um, environment would this be used for? Yeah. So our backpack design um, predominantly, or it was initially focused on the, the UK Fire Brigade market, uh -huh. allowing them to have a uh, quick response uh, solution that was mobile. So any, you know, if they wanted to challenge a skip fire or a car fire, they had that ability. And we've been working in, or working with quite a few large industries, um, and we find that any any large organisation where there's a large amount of risk is is now at risk. You know, the, the, the fire brigades are stretched; they are a lot thinner. Uh -huh. um, their time of the delivery and speed to response is, is is slowing. So this backpack allows a end user to be comfortable that they've got an initial strong response tool that is suitable for any classifier again. So again, it, it's buying you that 10, 15 minutes you need in order to, to allow a, a, a proper fire brigade to And, what, to and what do you have in there? What's it housing to put out the um, fires with? Yeah, tradi the, the, the backpack is, 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 is literally just uh, two, two standard six litre cylinders um, in, in, in a configuration. Um, our design allows it to be recharged on site, um, okay. and we, yeah, we, we, we got guys that can refill this manually, uh, no specific or specialized training or tools in under two minutes. And how much does that weigh? Because I'm thinking obviously people in the workplace are different heights, different Correct. sizes, so how much does that weigh? Is it okay for yeah. pretty much most people to use? 100%. It, it conforms to all the, all the health and standing executive. It, it, it is 22 kilograms when fully charged. Uh -huh. Um, and yeah, we've, I mean, we've, we've had in, uh, a couple of our backpacks were at Glastonbury and... Uh, what, just for fun? 
no, 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 no. We had, we had, we, we had female, uh, female firefighters wearing the backpack all day, walking up and down with a fully charged 22 kg. It's ergonomically designed, so again, all the weight sits in, in the correct positions. Okay, now um, it's, it's okay looking at these, but I think we want to see these actually work, don't yeah, we? Yeah, see, seeing is believing. I'm a bit excited about this part. So I'm going to throw to outside because we've got a man we want to set on fire. We're going to go to Simon. Hey, welcome outside. You're here, our first ever outside broadcast. You'll see a fire being lit here, a tray of oil. In the pouring rain, I might add, but never mind. So what, we, what we're going to do on this one is we're going to fight it with a traditional water extinguisher. You can see a normal tr traditional water, higher pressure, starts spreading the liquid everywhere. And again, the, the flames just dance around. A bit pointless, really. And then we've got water mist. So now what we're going to do is set some tires on fire. Traditional tires, if anyone's ever fought a tire, knows that yeah, to, to put out this on a, on a standard method would probably be a couple of hundred liters of get light there. foam and foam chemical. Okay. Now we're going to probably do it in two liters, maybe okay. a liter and a half. So we'll let it, let it have a good burn. Oh, I bet it smells lovely out there. It's, <laughs> Oh, okay, so he's putting on the backpack now yeah. to put this one yeah. out. So you see the now backpack fully mounted and we're so ready you can to see go. It's, it's, it, you know, Gary was strong enough to, to, to pick it up uh, by himself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do hope the speedy insurance is covering me for this. In he goes. And you can see what, what the droplets are doing. Are, so they convert and they turn to steam. Steam yeah. becomes an inert gas. That was probably a litre of water that he used. That's amazing. Let's have a round of applause for our fire back outside. And, and Simon, thank you very much out there, fellas. Excellent. That is quite impressive, and it does show that the, the mist itself seems to do more of a comprehensive job and puts the fire out a lot quicker. It does, yeah. Uh, the, 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 the mist is, is the secret. So, you know, that's, that's where we got our patents and uh, some good technology. And what kind of a fire could, say, something like this put out? So we saw the tyres on fire there. So that gives us an idea of one kind of size. But with the two canisters, what kind of a fire would if, that put out? If, if, if you go onto our, uh, our, our, our fire bug or look at the fire bug on Twitter, you'll see that I posted a photograph of a, a Merseyside Fire and Rescue extinguishing a, a, a car fire, a vehicle fire. So anything oh, up okay. to a vehicle fire is suitable. Thank yes, you thank very you. much. Thank you very much. Oh, and thanks, Simon. I like seeing one piece. <laughs> <laughs>